Good morning all. Today I am going to work on the body mounts. There's no body mounts whatsoever and I'm getting kind of annoyed with not knowing how far forward it's supposed to go. So that's what I'm working on today. But first, I have a confession. Do you remember when I very carefully measured the centre of the cross member so that I could align the engine right in the middle? Well I thought I got it spot on but I did think there was something weird when the engine mount on that side had to be a bit longer to reach over. Well as it turns out I measured down there to be about 22 and a half inches across and I half 22 and a half to 11 and a half or 11 and three quarters and mark that line so that line is too far over that way it should have been pretty much in line with where I joined the cross member after cutting it which explains why the engine is slightly over that way and I know this because there's no way I'm getting an exhaust header down there. So I need to redo my engine mounts. No biggie, but I just thought I'd let you know. I measured twice, but I didn't calculate twice. That's the problem. Sometimes you actually have to use a calculator as simple as divide this number in half. <laughs> and that's your answer. So that's my confession. As I say, no biggie. But I just thought I'd be upfront and honest. Okay, I'm going to get the body off and uh, get started on where these engine mounts have to go. And if I have time, I will redo the engine mounts today as well. Did I say engine mounts earlier? I meant body mounts. You get the idea. Right, body off. Remember that slip yoke that I couldn't find the other day that totally ruined my day? Because, you know, I'd put it in a safe place. <sighs> that would be the safe place. Dumbass. Okay. Safe place. Discovered. Right, what will I do? Uh, you know what? Since, since I've got the body off anyway, I might as well get the engine in the right place. So, lift the engine up. Move it out the way. Redo these, redo these uh, engine mounts, and that's it done. Wish I didn't have to, but uh, better I find out now than when everything's completed. Eh? Right, let's check out the situation. As you can see, this mount is that long. This mount is easily an extra inch. Now these measurements were based off of that line there. Hello. Right, so the other thing is they're actually maybe an inch too high and they're an inch too far back that way. So I thought about just, you know, chopping this and adding a bit to that side, but ugh, you know what, it's actually easier just to chop these off and make new ones. So that's what I'll do. I've got the material, so why not? Right, I managed to get the old uh, motor mounts off without destroying the frame, which is nice. It's a bit dark. Where are we? So that one was that one was there. So I've cleaned up the an inch along because that's where I'll be welding the new ones on. So I have an updated design in mind. I've a, it's occurred to me that I don't actually need that plate. I don't need that plate, that's pointless. We're just adding more metal. I can just actually use that section from there to there. Weld that onto the frame and then add a little gusset there. It's the same thing. So I just need to cut two lengths of this metal at the right angle 
a notch the tops, weld these in, and then put them on the motor, lower the motor in, and uh, tack it in at the right place. And if it's the right place, weld it in properly, add the gusset. Let's do it. Updated motor mounts are now made. And they are the same size this time. Right, so as I say, much uh, much simpler than the last ones without the plate. Just need to add a gusset there once they're on the car. Right, let's go let's go weld them on. Hopefully they work. Right, that's the new motor mounts tacked in and the engine is resting on it so it's at the proper weight. So as I say they're just tacked in for now, just to make sure. Rear end is centered. It's at approximately the right height. It's sitting on a, a very specific sized what's that a rear reflector triangle thing, emergency triangle. So that's centered and we have let me get the tape measure just to confirm Bearing in mind the previous mounts positioned the, the engine an inch further over this way. So let's go between the first and second spark plug hole. What's that? Just under three and a half inches. So I'm not expecting exactly three and a half, but close will do. Certainly a lot better than an inch difference. So between the one and two. Close enough. Right, I'll get the motor out. Get them welded up properly and put a couple of gussets on them. And then we can get on to the actual body mounts that was supposed to be done today. But hey, that had to be done. I finally have a centred engine. Now before I put the body back on and start measuring up for mounts, I thought I would take this opportunity to see if this uh, drive shaft was going to work. So it's sitting roughly where it would be attached to the rear diff and the front still has that, that yoke won't fit, this one does fit. And it's just, just a little bit too close. So what I'll probably do is replace this whole section, cut that, maybe take it back an inch, and then slide the new, the new set on, and that should fit quite nice. So I'm going to need a couple of uh, combination U joints. They're always fun to try and find. We'll get there though. What else did I do? Oh yeah, I still need to make a, a tranny mount. Sorry, a gender neutral mount. The exhausts are not going to fit. I just, I just know it. Um, I'll have to persuade. I'll show you the headers. So I think this side and this side would fit because they slope inwards. But I think there's maybe half inch just too much so I'm gonna to have to just massage a little section there I don't really have any other options to be honest for for headers they've got to go where they've got to go you know I can't have them I can't have them coming out here and going down the side that would just be silly so that's something another project I need to think about okay uh, it's nearly dinner time already so I may or may not get this body done today. Possibly not, but I'll do a two-parter. Let's see how I can how I can get on. Right, body is on and I think I've got it pretty much exactly where I want it. So now I can look at all the motor mount motor mount. 
body mount brackets and see what I have to work with. So that's the frame, but obviously this has been the body's been altered at some point, so I need to I need to make a plate over to there. It's gonna come up about inch and a half. Okay, the whole body's coming up an inch and a half everywhere. So there's actually four on each side. You have that one there. Uh, I've lost them. They're under there somewhere. Anyway, the front one's there. So if I work on getting four sorted at the moment. Where are we? There. If I get four done to begin with, to make sure it's always square, and then I can make the other. I, I'm not going to go eight. I'll go uh, I'll go six. Three on each side. How's that sound? Now, what I did do, because I moved the, the engine forward an inch, it gave me more room here, because this firewall was getting very close to that, which was which meant that I wasn't getting the proper distance for the, the hood. So the engine's forward a bit, and it's down a bit, and it's centered. So I will, I'll throw the hood on and see if it fits better now. Hopefully it'll be completely spot on. Too bad at all. I mean, I've still got like rubber sealant type stuff to go in between, and obviously, if I push the grill back, it closes it closes that gap up. Certainly, a lot better than it was. I had like two inches to spare, which is nonsense. So I will mark all over the frame where I'm wanting to make these mounts and then I have to come up with some rubber mount ideas hockey pucks or something I'm not sure yet but I think that's it for today I'm going to put it all together again and uh, decide what I'm working on tomorrow again I think we might be getting some rain oh I wish summer would hurry up and we can actually plan stuff properly. So that was another strange mashup of a video for you. Ah, you know what, as long as we're out doing something, that's all that matters, right? <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.